Today, June 28th, we detected unusual option activity on United Airlines, UAL. And so in this video, we will be analyzing these unusual options to determine what this means. And also, we'll review our prior video on United Airlines that we made on June 11, analyzing the June 9 unusual options. So, um, if you recall, um, on June 9, United was trading at $50. And we made a video analyzing these unusual options that were bullish. This was the unusual options that we analyzed. And you'll see that uh, the debit was 67. And now profit of about $224 per trade. And uh, that is 224 divided by the initial investment times 100 to get a percentage. That is 334% profit in these options. So has been very profitable um, based on our analysis of these June 9. It was at 50 and now today had made an 52-week high of $56.97. You'll see here the stock has rose 13% in 18 days. And that was 334% on the options that were done by a large investor. And we made that video and published that on June 11. Uh, make sure to watch that video. We'll put a link at the top here and at the end of this video so you can learn how we did this. So you can use this strategy to increase your profitability okay um, if you are a, one of our members you would know that on that day instead of using united we traded delta airlines which also was very profitable and so if um, you are interested in our membership click the join button on our channel homepage to learn more we analyze unusual options and so not just one stock, but many others. And we also show you how we trade based on unusual options activity. Okay. And so let's get into these unusual options that happen today. And to understand what's going on now with United, now that it's at a 52 week high. Okay. So this all is happening at 1.23 PM at the 38 second mark, right? So Lots of uh, activity here going on. And uh, instead of going through every single one, we'll just go over kind of generally what is going on. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, July 21s. Okay, and we'll focus on the July 21s here. This is the 57.5 strike calls, 44 strike puts. Okay, and um, there was also, let's see, um, that and that. 52.5 strike calls are also here, okay? Same time. So it's actually, let's take a look at these three strike prices, okay? On the July 21s. So this is expiring in 23 days. You'll see here, the 44 put strikes are over here open interest here, very close to the volume, okay? We believe this is a closing order, okay? They're closing this order, this previous trade that they have, um, because they had sold it and they're buying it now to close it up. Here's the 52.5, you'll see here, volume open interest. And also the 57.5 also, volume and open interest. The volume and the open interest, all right? 
volume much less than the um, open interest and uh, we believe this is also a closing order okay so they are taking profits on this 52.5 strike call closing also their 57.5 where they were um, where they had bought a vertical bullish call spread and they are closing those orders taking profits now okay now what are they also doing simultaneously at the 38 second mark right august 18 look at this here 57.5 strike calls 65 calls right and the 50 strike puts okay so we take a look at that that is august 18 51 days away and now we'll see here at the 50 strike puts volume much greater than the open interest so they are opening these orders okay so we believe they are selling the 50 strike puts using some of that credit that they collect by selling that put buying the 57.5 calls and selling the 50 the 65 strike calls so that's another vertical uh, call spread so this is what the trade looks like when you analyze it let's turn off the prior unusual options that we had analyzed on June these were the June nines these unusual options um, so here they are um, you'll see it's also bullish and looks very similar than the previous one they had just shifted their strike prices up and also to extend the time to August 18 now okay so um, another bullish this however again they have a hedge where they are um, reducing their risk so the price can go down but you'll see here there is that flat line that blue flat line meaning if it goes down if United goes down all the way to $50 they won't lose any more at expiration because this line here is flat so they're reducing their risk with this type of um, strategy here okay so uh, and that's the advantage of, of uh, selling those puts that they're using here to reduce their risk here on their uh, bullish sentiment to can you continue this bullish sentiment right okay so um it looks like there is still more bullishness ahead of united based on the unusual option activity today that's just today um, but anything can change and that is why um, we monitor and analyze unusual option activity um, for on a daily basis and you'll see um, also united has the potential to go up and and that is also one of the reasons why um, you want to diversify your portfolio because different stocks at different times are going to be bullish or bearish and if you like just trading stocks that go up then pick the stocks that are going up at that time and that's why we have a membership where you can join our membership to get access to exclusive videos and that's why we had did delta airlines and you can see also delta has been going up dramatically up same with united and that was uh, one of our member trades um, back in june 9 on this day here okay and uh for Delta, it actually went up more than United, about 19%. So that's why we had um, wanted to give make that video and give that to our members because we had a feeling that Delta was going to outperform United, which it did. 
And so um, if you are a member, you know that uh, this has been a very profitable uh, trade. And so um, if you're interested in our memberships to get these exclusive videos, um, click the join button on our membership. And uh, again, um, as usual, please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, click the bell icon. You'll be notified whenever we detect unusual options activity. Thank you and have a great day.